actually kind of moving out of the space right now, but I wanted to show a little bit of how you could set up a tent for long-term living. We stayed here about a month um, in between when we moved from one state to another before we were able to get an apartment. Um, so I just want to show a little bit of what I did. Like I said, it's kind of already being packed a little bit. So, um, you know, just keep that in mind that this isn't how we would look every day for living, but wanted to show a little bit. Uh, so we kept our trash up here before we could take it down uh, in the state that we moved to. We have little convenience centers that we're able to move it to, so I wanted to show that. We kept it back behind here so that we had the ability to get in and out of the tent still. Um, but then we, it was kind of out of the way because it smells bad. It's trash. Um, so here is what we kept our clothes in. This was all of our homeschooling stuff. This was one toy bin. So we did a lot of outside play. We did a lot of movies in this season of life. Uh, but the kids still did have a little bit of toys and then some books and things for homeschooling. This tote under here is actually completely full of water. I think it's really, really important to have a water source inside of wherever you're living, not just um, close by. So that way you can have that... Um, more immediately to cook and clean and do things that you need to. You don't have to always leave your living area to do that. Um, this was actually just an air conditioner. We did have electricity while we were here. Uh, this was just helpful. You know, it's kind of, it can get very stuffy in here, so that helped. Um, this was our pantry. We just had a little two stack. Here's where I kept all of our dishes. We used a lot of paper plates, and then we put our trash can underneath. This is not anything for here that was out of my car. Uh, this is where we kept all of our bathroom stuff. So we have diapers, pull-ups, wipes, and then this is some emergency medical things. And then we have um, toiletries. And then down here was all of our um, towels and bath mats and things. This is actually a shower bag. So I put all of our like soap, conditioner, wash rags, things like that in there. And we could take it with us. So if we were able to stay in a hotel for one night... Or if we were able to uh, do something where we could find a shower, we could just pick that whole thing up with us and we didn't have to always bathe inside of the tent. Back here we have this washing machine in case I needed to wash clothes. I actually didn't use that. I was able to go to the laundromat, but it was nice to have it. Inside we ended up just storing everything for our little toilet here. So it has the trash bags, the poo powder, some things to wipe it out, and some toilet paper. Like I said, we were actually planning on doing laundry here, but we never had time or energy, so we ended up just going into town. Here's a drying rack. If we had done that, here's a bathtub here. We decided to go ahead. That's what we would bathe in. I would put the kids in there to wash them, or I would just kind of sit in it and scrub up. Uh, this is our toilet. We have this plastic bag, and then we put the poo powder. We would be able to because then it's compostable. Um, put it with the trash. Uh, this is my daughter's cot. We have like a little foam mat in there, so it's more comfortable. We did store a few things under there, but it's, there's not a lot of room. Um, we had lots of blankets because it is going into fall, and so there were cold nights. Um, and then these packing cubes actually hold all of our clothes. So that packing cube holds my both of my children's clothes, and then over here, my packing cube hold, held all of mine. And all of our clothes fit in one packing cube each. We really went minimalist. Then I have an air mattress that I shared with my son. That's kind of the bedroom area. This is the kitchen. <laughs> Just like a normal house, the kitchen's a mess. Um, so here, the kids are screaming. Um, we have um, a little refrigerator that we kept all of our food in. We did have to grocery shop every three to four days in order to accommodate that. We have a standing tower here that we could plug in all of our electronics. It did break. I won't. Rec I don't recommend this one from Amazon. This is actually a rice cooker that also is a slow cooker and has a frying and sauteing. So that's a pretty much our entire stove and kitchen. Then we also have a tea kettle back here that we can make ramen, oatmeal, or just tea or hot chocolate in. We do have a Berkey so that we could filter water whenever. And then I have two tubs here that I made into a sink. We did keep a fire extinguisher on hand because if this place ever were to have caught fire, thank the Lord Jesus, it did not happen. If it were to, then um, we needed to be able to act quickly. So I kept that in here. This table is just a four foot basic table. If I had to do this again, I probably would have sprung 
for the four foot table that has a sink in it from Amazon. Uh, because then I could have hooked the hose right up to it and we would have had running water in the in the tent, which would have been a much more desirable situation. Did not spring for that this time. But if you are a person who unfortunately is looking at potentially having to live in a tent or a camper situation or a gutted camper um, and you need to kind of do things from scratch, that is very helpful. Um, then over here, this is actually our little shoe bin. So we would put all of those in. Obviously, dirt still got tracked in. But when this was cleaned up, then this whole middle area here was open for playing or for whatever. So just to recap, we have a kitchen. And then we have kind of more kitchen and um, storage area. We have a bathroom and a bedroom. And that basically summarizes an entire house. Um so yeah, we were able to fit an entire house worth of things in here. During this season, we did also homeschool. We weren't as consistent as we would like to, but we did. And I worked online. Um, so I have a work from home job and I'm a stay at home homeschooling mom as well. And so we were able to accomplish all of those things in here. It wasn't easy, <laughs> but because we set it up like a house and we weren't just living sporadically, we were able to accomplish those things. I think there is a reality that at some point um, it could be necessary for people to do something like this in between homes. If they can't find one, they can stay on a friend's property. I think it's important to have these skills.